We're going we're gonna to axe the tax because the foundation of everything we have in this economy, everything we eat, everything we use has to go by truck or train. Everything that comes off the farm field has to be taken using machines powered with diesel and gasoline. The oil and gas industry in this country is not the enemy. And when I'm Prime Minister, I will champion Canadian energy. Instead of creating more cash, we're going to create more of what cash buys, grow more food, build more homes, and produce more Canadian resources here in this country. We know how to do it. We need to unleash the, the unmatched might of the free enterprise system. We're going to, we'll have fast permits, low taxes, and more competition to drive this economy forward and produce the things that make life materially beneficial to every single person. And that starts by unleashing the production of our resources. A Polyev-led government will pass a common sense law to repeal the unconstitutional anti-resource law C-69. And we will replace it with a law that, yes, protects our environment, yes, consults our first peoples, and yes, gets decisions made. We will approve mines within 18 months rather than 18 years. We'll remove carbon taxes off of the production of the steel that goes into the future pipelines that will again be built in this country. We will, in addition to that, it's not just oil, though we do love Canada's oil sector, we will also unleash the production of more natural gas, LNG. When Trudeau took office, there were 18 proposed natural gas liquefaction projects on his desk. Not one of them has been completed. The only one that's approaching the finish line, LNG Canada, was approved by Stephen Harper in the last year of his government. Give it up for Stephen Harper, by the way. Absolutely, Harper. He looks, you know, people miss him more and more every day. <laughs> but LNG Canada, approved by Stephen Harper, only economically possible because of a carbon tax exemption and because it happened under the pre C69 approval process, will reduce greenhouse gas emissions around the world by di displacing dirty coal. This is an incredible project, and now. First Nations on both coasts are seeking to do more of it. National Bank just put forward a study demonstrating that if we exported clean Canadian natural gas to India to help provide for half of their future needs on their electrical grid and displacing coal in the process, we would reduce global emissions by 2.5 billion tons, which is three times the total emissions of all of Canada. Wouldn't that be a real solution for the environment? And of course, what does it take 
to liquefy gas and get it on a ship? Cold weather. What do we have in Canada? Cold weather. In fact, it got so cold in Ottawa last winter, Trudeau was seen with his hands in his own pockets. <laughs> we're going to, but we're going to, when I'm Prime Minister, we're going to give fast permits to LNG liquefaction. We're going to cool that gas to minus 161 degrees Celsius, ship it to Asia to displace dirty Asian coal, ship it to Europe. To, to, to displace the marketplace of the dictator in Moscow. We're going to turn dollars for dictators into paychecks for our people. Bring it home. Bring it home. Bring it home.